What's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina and thank you for joining me today on my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're already part of the fam, hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm excited to be back here today because I am actually filming a makeup video. If you have been here on my channel, you know that I have not filmed a makeup video in some time now. So yeah, if you don't know what's happening, then you need to go back and check out my other videos. Just in the process of getting everything settled, I moved, I'm here, and as you see, this will be my filming space and it's not really decorated yet. It's not really set up yet. So this may be my my background for some time. So let's just jump right into the video. Today's video is going to be about a bulletproof foundation and you know, some of the creative on the eyes. I really haven't figured out what I'm going to do on the eyes yet. So we are going to see, but I know that on the lips, I am going to be using this Ruby Kisses matte lipstick right here. It is blue and it's in the color Azure. So I know I want to use this blue lipstick. I don't know what I want to do in the eyes. So let's go ahead and jump into the foundation. My foundation routine is so on point right now. Like, I mean, it doesn't go anywhere. It's crazy how well my makeup stays. So this step I usually don't do during the week, but I know that this is something that will make your foundation bulletproof. You can use any type of primer you like, but today I am going to be using this Nivea Men, and this is an aftershave balm, and it is so good, girl, okay? And because I'm extra, I'm going to go in with another primer around my nose. And where I have blemishes, you guys already know, I have blemishes down here. I have larger pores kind of on my nose, not like drastically, but we want it to look smooth, okay? I am going to be using this LA Girl Pro. So you can't really see it because it's light, okay? But this is LA Girl Pro High Definition Primer. And I just noticed that I'm not even, like, I don't even have my mirror. Oh my God. All right, so I've put on the LA Girl Pro Primer and now, y'all, this is a beast, okay? This is what I've been using every day when I go to work. All I do is spray this on my face, which is the Smashbox Primer Water. I spray this on my face and then I do my foundation and it stays all day. So these additional products that I'm using here, okay? These are just additional okay for video purposes but on a daily basis i would just spray this on and i'm telling y'all it sticks okay it sticks so now i'm going to spray this on mm -hmm. yes. while that's still kind of wet on my face i'm going to put on my foundation and i'm using my nars natural radiant long wear foundation and I am in the color Cadiz I believe that is the color so I'm in the color Cadiz okay and I'm going to start in the middle of my face here and blend it out and this is showing up a little bit of light on camera which is interesting here so yeah I don't know why this is showing up so light it's showing up really, really light. But I think my face is a little bit darker because if you look at my face and my chest, it's a little bit, it matches a little bit more. So yeah, I want a little bit more coverage and we all know what area I want more coverage in. So I'm putting two pumps there. The two pumps aren't gonna be used there, but you know. I wish I could have some barbecue, like, I wish I could have me some ribs right now, but I cannot because I have started this workout plan. That's one thing I really don't talk about on here is like my weight loss journey. I've always been like a thick girl, which I love, but you know, I'm going to be having kids soon and you know, I need to lose some weight, period, point blank. I do not want to gain more than what I am now. 
being pregnant. And I know when I get pregnant, honey, I'm gonna wanna like, you know, I'm going to want to enjoy my pregnancy. I'm trying to lose some weight, I'm trying to shed some pounds, you know. I can, if I can lose 50 to 75 pounds, like, I'll be happy. But, you know, I'm not one to talk about weight loss because it's something that everybody talks about and it's like, it's just you losing weight, you know what I'm saying? Losing weight, getting healthier. That's all I'm saying. There's nothing more than that, okay? Nothing more. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my concealer. And today I'm using two concealers. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Warm Honey. And then I'm going to be using my Tarte Concealer. And this is in the color tan. And so I've been loving this combination as well. LA Girl Pro Conceal, we all know, is an OD, but it's a goodie. And so, I am so excited that I went and purchased it again. And Warm Honey is just perfect for me. It's kind of like a salmon color concealer, but it's like the perfect highlight. Okay, it's the perfect highlight. But I feel as if it's starting to match in with my tone a little bit more. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's why I put a Tarte Concealer on top. Just to kind of brighten it a little bit. And if you guys have not tried LA Girl Pro Concealer, I don't know what you're doing. Honey, you are sleeping. Because LA Girl Pro, I think this is one reason why my makeup stays on so well too. When I have to wash my face and I'm trying to, you know, wash off my eye makeup and, you know, just wash off my face in general, my eyes are the hardest, okay? The most difficult area to get clean on my face. And it is so annoying. But, yeah, Elegra Pro Conceal. It's not going anywhere. I'm telling y'all, like, I have my little makeup box right here, and then I have a box with makeup in it. Like, I have not really unpacked my makeup because I haven't been doing makeup videos. Like, all I've been doing is vlogs. And if you guys have not checked my vlogs out, I'm going to put some eye guards up here. Pick one, girl. Pick one, girl or a guy. Boo, pick one. Okay, I think I've blended enough, right? <laughs> yes, I have. So today I'm going to start off my contour with my NYX HD concealer. And I like to start mine a little bit higher because I already have like a natural indention, you know? And so, yeah. Ooh, girl, got a little crazy right there, boo. Got a little crazy. And we all know I usually don't contour my nose, but I'm contouring it today. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of contour, it makes me think about drag makeup. <laughs> I did a poll on my Instagram. And if you do not follow my Instagram, I'm going to put my name, plural, up here on the screen for my personal and for my beauty Instagram page. I did a poll on my beauty IG page and I asked what was the next makeup look that you know you guys wanted to see and people said drag and I was like ooh okay I'm probably going to do a drag makeup tutorial and y'all I don't know how it's gonna turn out but we're gonna try boo we're gonna try it okay we are going to try it we are not going to not live up to the challenge. Now I'm going to bake a little bit and we all know I'm using my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Palette. I really love this palette and you guys, this yellow right here is getting the business, okay? Yes. Pressing it in. I mean press. Press, honey. Press to press and set wherever I highlighted or areas that I want to keep highlighted. We all know that I like to put it around my mouth because this is a place where 
I have hyperpigmentation. It's a place where I have blemishes. It's a place that get on my nerves, okay? So I like to let that sit around my mouth a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into these brows. Like in my first couple of videos, my brows was out of control, okay? They were out of control and I needed to arch them. And we're back there, <laughs> okay? We are back there. I need to do my brows so bad. <laughs> and um, I haven't done it yet, you know? I, I haven't and it's okay. It's okay, right? Right? We don't judge on here. We do not judge. My brows. My neighbor just came home. So now I'm gonna move on to contouring with some powder, which is pretty much just setting, you know, the concealer that I contoured with. And I'm going to be using my Shade and Light palette by my girl, Kat Von D. I'm going to use this middle shade right here. And I love Kat Von D products. I don't know why I don't have more of her products. Her powders and stuff, like I've heard her powders are bomb.com. Like her powder and her foundation, I heard it's bomb.com. And I have yet to get it. So that may be my next purchase, you guys. When it comes to makeup, is some Kat Von D stuff. Ooh, that nose, honey. <laughs> that nose. That nose is snatched. That nose is snatched. I want to go into this purple color. You guys, I don't know who this is by. Let's see. I don't know who this is by, like what makeup brand. I got it when I was at Sephora. So I'm just going to go into that purple. And we're going to blend in the crease. And it's gonna start off looking a mess. I'm telling you right now. So yeah. This is the Elf Contour and Blush Palette here. And it's actually one of my faves. It's in St. Lucia. And I'm just using the contour color in there just to blend the edges of this purple out. So it won't look like I got beat up. stuff just you know a little bit more fluffy that will allow me to get into the crease but will also let me blend mm -hmm. and for some reason I'm always cutting this eye short when it comes to to eyeshadow and things like that so i have to pay extra close attention to this eye to make sure that it looks even with my other eye and hell it may be the other eye that, that need help make sure i get both of them okay so i'm now going to get that purple and run it under the lash line as well This modern matte palette right here from Beauty Treats and it is magical okay so we are going to go into that blue and we're going to pack that on the lid and this is just to give that hue of blue okay I mean, you want it to be blue, but we are going to be going over majority of this blue with another color. Then I'm just going to lightly run it in the inner tear duct. Don't want to get too far in the inner tear duct. Now we're going to blend. I'm using my dual fiber brush here to blend this out into that purple, that weak ass purple. And uh, this dual fiber brush, I believe is from Crown Brush. Yeah, I 
don't even know. It's either from Crown Brush or it's from BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to lightly bring that up. And then I'm going to go into that same palette and I'm going to go into that purple right there that is doing more than the other purple. Okay. And I am going to just build up that crease a little bit more because I feel like the purple has been just a little bit lost. Okay, a little bit lost, but it will be found. Okay, and so we are going to go back into the crease. I'm just going to build up that purple. Now I'm going to go into this NYX eyeshadow right here. And I haven't used this in so long, so I am pretty excited about it. Look at how pretty that is. It is so freaking pretty. I'm not using my finger. I use a finger boot. Yep. I had to use the finger. I had to use. And so I'm gonna go back in with that blue on the lower lash line. So I'm going to put on my lashes and I will be right back. All right, so I finally have these lashes back on. And um, hopefully they don't look crazy. I also turned up the ISO on my camera a little bit simply because the sun is setting and I don't want to look too dark. So if I look too light, my apologies. But I feel like I want to bronze like a little bit more on my face. So I'm going to go into this blush and bronzer duo by elf which is saint lucia and i am going to just do a little bit more bronzing okay so for highlight we're using the milani bake bronzer you guys know this is my favorite and so i'm just going to place that Now it's time for the lips and I am excited. So once again, this is a liquid lipstick from Ruby Kisses and it's called Forever Matte. And this particular color is, like I said, Azure. finish this look I'm going to go ahead and spray my Smashbox primer water to set everything in place guys so that completes my look and I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I definitely did I haven't done a makeup look in a while and so it feels good to come back and do something for you guys because I know I've been leaving you guys hanging right now our family is small but I am so happy for you guys thank you for the support thank you for watching my videos liking my videos and leaving really sweet comments I really do appreciate it and yeah we're on here just to grow to get to know each other and just to support each other right Yes, that's what we're on here for. If you are new to my channel, I hope you enjoyed this video so much that you would be joining the MDD family. Click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell on the side so that you can get post notifications so that you will not miss an upload. So once again, smooches boos. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Cause all that
shit you rap about sound like a gimmick. And all that talking, but how you really living? Artificial like that.